Hey everybody, it's Bus, continuing our playthrough of the Path of Champions. Today, we're taking on the four-star quest, the Star Forger, doing battle against Aurelian Soul with our two-star Teemo. Uh, to get you familiar with our strategy, the big point here is using the armed and ready ability out of the star power. So when allies attack, we put five poison puff caps on random cards in the enemy deck. When we tie that in with our relic that says scout, that means we can attack with Teemo, put five in the deck with the star power, five in with the nexus strike, then we get to attack again. The five from the star power will flip him, and then Teemo will start doing the uh, the double puff cap strikes from that point forward. We also like to turn the uh, the round end recall me into a bonus uh, by using the lost chapter. So ideally, our Teemo is going to come down, give us three spell mana with the lost chapter. He'll return at the end of the turn. Then we can replay him again next turn, pick up another plus two mana uh, each time that he gets played. Uh, we have one further strategy that we like to take with our Teemo. We have got him up to champion level 20, which is quite important in that it lets you game start draw champion, but uh, we still have this relic strategy I like to use anyways with Teemo. We'll jump into that right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to start the adventure. Oh, try to start the adventure. See if we can't get in here. It can be tough to click on. We're going to see the powers. We're going to look at them. You can stop if you have like a legendary or something. You know, it's not unreasonable to think that you might find a really good power and want to use it or one that you just prefer whatever but the the standard strategy i have with teemo is you come in you look at the powers you say huh those aren't very good you just pick one and quit we're going to retire the run then we're going to come back in and pick up uh the draw two cards at game start it is so monumentally important uh that we get to draw teemo every game ideally on the first turn uh, that we're going to use the plus two card draw to maximize our chances of doing so. And so here at the beginning, in game one, we're of course going to draw him because we are now at champion level 20. That's just what the power states. But as we add more champions into our deck, I still don't even feel that good if we have a 25%, a 50% chance of, of drawing Teemo that uh, I, I want to just do everything we can to maximize. So here, taking the flexible game plan, now on to Sejuani. And so... Of course, the foe, let's see here, the foe adds a random item to each of their cards for the game, and then when the foe summons a unit, you give it plus one, plus one. All right, continuing on with the strategy, we're going to take it with this hand. You can you can just, you know, kind of more mulligan freely, freely since we're going to draw the Teemo, but uh, typically if Teemo's not in our hand, we're just going to take a full mulligan to uh, ensure that we, tr well, not ensure, but give our best effort at drawing one. There he is. And it looks like, I'm not sure how the timing works on that power as to where, um, like when you put that one equipment onto your units, then it has that thing to where uh, you draw it if it's not already in your opening hand. I'm not sure how that works with the this Teemo, but I think we'll be okay. So here, I think Electro Harp, well, we could probably just take the Poison Dart. I'm not sure like what the removal from our opponent's going to look like here but I wanted to be able to cast some spells, see if we can't get this out of the way, because then as we replay our Teemo, uh, we're just going to lose out on that mana anyways. But the Sun Fumes is going to be good, right? Let us kill this unit. Nothing wrong with just killing units. Here's Teemo. I'm going to dart you. I'm going to send the dart right in. All right, and so with the normal circumstances, right, we attack. The star power puts five puff caps in. Teemo takes him up to ten. This star power will now flip the Teemo, and he's going to double him up with the Nexus Strike. All right, so we should be in a pretty good spot here. Uh, the, the stress defense is fantastic defensively since it lets us... Uh, you know, take this big Sejuani and force her to only deal one damage. And then otherwise, we're looking pretty good in terms of um, uh, just not taking any more damage this game. All right, so I'm going to drop a poison dart. We'll just send it to the face. We can follow up with Teemo. Catch a couple more points of spell mana. Shouldn't need it here, but, you know, we, we got it. All right, the Sump Fumes can take this guy down. Such a big difference with the Sump Fumes dealing the extra two points of damage. I think we picked that up at level 21. 
just such a bad removal spell that doesn't kill anything. <laughs> you, you really need that bonus damage for it to be relevant. All right, well, I'll lead in with the Chump Wump. If opponent's going to play a Flash Freeze or something, I'd prefer to have a way to uh, uh, cast spells around it. Wolf Rider's fairly annoying, not going to lie, but uh, the, the rest of our squad should be doing enough damage here to just end the game. All right, well, he certainly boomed you, Teemo. So Poison Dark to the face, Mushroom Clouds to the deck. It's going to have, looks like, 65 Puff Caps and 20-some cards. Should be good for about 3 damage or so. Got him. GG. Well done, Bust. Well done, Teemo. Alright, so what you got for us? Papercraft Dragon, always exciting with Teemo. Getting those those double striked attacks in, putting quadruple puff caps into the deck. I, I, I like it, but it is very expensive. Oh, let's be real, this is quite expensive. I, I don't think as you get up to Aurelian Soul, you really have the opportunity to get to turn 6, right? We have to physically play Teemo because he recalls and then spend the 6 mana on the Papercraft Dragon, so I guess you need turn 7. It's probably just not going to do it. Let's start rolling and see if we can't find something cheaper. Not opposed to the Scholarly Climber. It's just still so expensive, right? The The problem with this deck is we have uh, uh, the what you call the Chump Wump, the Lecturing Yordle, the Ava Achiever. They're all very expensive, and so we just need like a catch-all removal spell like a Vengeance, and we need cheap plays. So here, Puff Cat Pup's okay. I could see an argument for a Sumpworks map, but uh, I, I think I would just prefer to have the unit. All right, under the support champion. Here you got Again, we're looking for a removal spell and cheap dudes. Uh, I'm not opposed to the Aurelian Soul. Uh, of course, we're never going to cast him, but Star Shaping is quite good, and then the Fangs is a nice defensive unit. Otherwise, I don't think we're getting much out of these. Practical Perfectionist is a good blocker, but don't really like them. Let's take a mulligan. What do we got? Galio, not quite what we're looking for. Kaisa could work. She's got the, the reduced cost thing. Uh, what do our, our things look like? We have Teemo for Elusive. Uh, Puff Cat Pup has Quick Attack Spell Shield. That's three. Peddler doesn't have anything, but... This guy has Fury. I think we could kind of build towards the Kaisa. I, I really like that she's going to be cheap here. The Paydays are something to do with our mana. And then the Voidling is also a nice blocker here. Just a three a three attack unit for one mana. I think we're in pretty good shape. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with these battles, Zoe can be exceptionally challenging. Uh, it's just monumentally for us, monumentally important for us to get Teemo in for Nexus Strikes. Uh, and there's Zoe. She has all of the cheap uh, Celestials in her deck. She has uh, Sneaky Zeebles in her deck. She's just like really well tuned to beating Teemo. So I'm going to avoid this battle. Even if there was like a champion item chest here to the right, I would still look to avoid Zoe. So we are going to come up here and do battle with Caitlyn. Uh, the first time the foes Nexus, this uh, gives them the revive if they die. And then on the case, the round start, they plant a flashbang trap in our top eight. I'm not certain how the, the Nexus Revive works with Puff Caps. I, I don't think we can immediately get a kill, uh, given that um, given that uh, the Puff Caps all strike at once. It used to hit like 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? But then you could tough the Nexus and cancel all the Puff Caps. And so I'm pretty sure now that it... Uh, uh, the, that it... Uh, does like you know 50 at once this two damage sure all right do we got any spells to play conchala just was a reasonable draw he's, he's good at finding spells anything cool here not really I mean, I could see an argument for this concurrent timelines, right? We can uh, we can upgrade some of these value units. I 
I'm not entirely certain how the timelines works with items. I think you get to keep the item, but it's been wrong before. More mushrooms. <clears throat> All right, well, the flip is in. Uh, I'm a little worried about Caitlyn in this match. We don't have a way to just, like, stop her her trap ability. I guess the traps shouldn't get as high, right? We're the ones doing ridiculous numbers on traps, but leaves me a little worried. Big old Caitlyn. Oh, we can probably just drop Kaisa. That did not plan out how I wanted. I I thought that we were gonna get uh, get to protect the Kaisa on this combat, but we could have played stress defense to, to protect her here, but uh, not not the way that that went. Let's go ahead and pick up the regenerate. What are you doing? You're doing more stuff. These units aren't that relevant. Oh, that was the concurrent timelines. Shit. I gotta I gotta remember we have access to that. Could have been relevant. I think we could have gotten a little bigger, bigger of a guy, but this is okay. Do we have one more? If we play the Fury thing, then Kaisa will be evolved on the next turn. But we can't, uh, we, we can't get her down this turn and doing stuff. I think I just want to get as many guys down as we can. But if we're playing Teemo, well, we could play. We can do this. We can play the pup. We can play Kaisa, and we can play uh, Timo. Now we'll see. He keeps the items, right? Good, good. Now we're evolved because we hit uh, Fearsome. Planned it that way. <laughs> a little confusing, a little hard to follow. I know, I'm sorry. But let's see what we can do here. Looks like we're gonna, not going to battle with Kaisa. They're not going to battle with Caitlyn. Should be able to give Kaisa elusive this round so she can at least attack. Oh, ain't she gets scout? I forgot about that. God, you got such a good collection. Such a good collection of abilities, Timo. That's pretty choice. Yeah, they're gonna heal off of this, but okay, okay. I like what's happening here. I like this deck a lot more now. I didn't I didn't even think stop to think of the prospects of putting Scout Elusive onto Kaisa. That's pretty choice. Right, take him down to ten. Looks like we'll have him up to about 150 puff caps. Should be pretty close to a lethal. What you got? 154. Technically ten cards or so. Got him. GG, Caitlyn. Good stuff. So long, Boyd. See you next time. See you. Okay, and so the the post battle spoils. Uh, I'm okay with the Befell the Elder. It's not spectacular, but it, it should be strong enough. Uh, it's an early play we can drop down. The spell thing is kind of relevant with our uh, with our build. I think this will be okay. Uh, if we're going full evolve, we could look for this overwhelming elusive daring Poro. I think the just the elder is going to be more relevant in terms of combats and stuff. So here, I don't care which battle we have to take. Jin can be a little bit annoying, uh, but Tom Kench, uh, not horrible. The thing in the middle here, the Monastery of Arana, I don't quite remember what that is. Let's pull it up real quick. Okay, so we're on the ftpbus.com site. We're just going to go up to the top to utilities, search for events, and then once the events thing loads up, uh, you can do a search in there and reduce everything down. And so uh, you can either take refuge, heal 25% of your max health, meditate to where you cut copies of a card from your deck, or uh, training lets you add something to your deck. And so cut a copy, it's basically got to be going to a healer. Let's just go ahead and run here to the middle, uh, see what the training is. Uh, we can get speed wraps on Conchologist, Quick attack on the Achiever or 
quick attack. Oh, quick attack on anything. Okay, I'm just going to cut cards. Oh, no, we don't get to pick the cards we cut, though? All right. Well, I'm still okay with removing the chump one, but it's like I, I wanted to cut out the... Uh, the 3-5 challenger thing, but he's a he's a reasonable cut as well. Now we'll just go up here and do battle with Jen. I think that's safe, right? What's up top here? Crimson Aristocrat? I don't want that. So let's actually do battle Tom Kench so that we get to uh, go up against the, uh, the, the item chest that we want. So uh, the foe puts items on all their cards, sure. And then when the foe summons a unit, you give it plus zero, plus two. All right. Feeling good. So what do we got? There's Teemo right from the start. We got this sweet Teemo payday combo to where uh, <laughs> you give him an ability for a turn and then he comes back to your hand. But, you know, not irrelevant with Kaisa running around. Looks like opponent just drew like 100 cards. Oh, this thing had the, the capture. That could have been pretty brutal if he was out here capturing our Teemo. He got lucky with that. Go ahead and get a takedown. All right, Timo comes back. What's Tom Kench cost? Four? So he's a, he's a few turns away from dropping Tom Kench's on us. So who's first? Here's the Betheldi Elder. If he's going to do weird stuff, we want him to do the weird stuff to the Elder. <laughs> good, good. Losing Timo here would have been fairly disastrous. This is a nasty little unit with the, with the Iceborne Gauntlets. We want to boost the Teemo. I mean, sure, we get a we get a Poro out of it, right? And just add in fearsome. None of our units have fearsome at the moment, so you could have given him plus two attack, so we would come in for an additional four damage here, or we could try and level up the Kaisa a little bit faster. Given that Kaisa should cost three mana next turn, uh, I'm okay to try and uh, turbocharge the Kaisa. She should be our first quick attack, I think, and then just be flipped next turn. It's the, the downside with Kaisa. He does get the chance to to, to try and eat her with uh, with the Tom Kench. Oh, is Kaisa one short? Did we already have a fearsome? I'm suspicious of what's happening there. Okay. Gonna let us get our, our elder back, which is kind of nice. Alright, take the Timo kill. I'm curious if we should be taking the Timo kill. If, like, what's gonna happen next turn? Well, he's not gonna have the mana to use Tom Kench next turn, right? It takes two mana to do a. Uh, it takes two mana to do a vicious hunger, or whatever that thing's called. Appetizing delight. <laughs> is that what Tom Kinch is out here doing? Dropping the app, the the appetizing delights. But now we have our, our sweet Kaisa combo. Give her the uh, elusive and scout. We need another ah, nonsense. We don't we don't have a way to give her another keyword. If I can save a life, I must. This game's dumb. <laughs> Dumbest thing I've ever encountered. Did we not get Fearsome in here? Uh, I don't know, man. I thought Fearsome was the one that put us over the edge. Okay, we'll send the squad. He's going to like block Kaisa. We can stress defense the Tom uh, to make sure he doesn't kill anything on the round. Then we should be pretty close in terms of, uh, of killing with Puff Caps. Got him at 166 with 25 cards. Call him my shot. This is going to get him. Got him. Called it. Nothing ever goes wrong when you call the shot. <laughs> a small victory is a victory all the same. Cool. Next battle. It's 
So what do we got in here? Supercharge, always kind of interesting. Let's just load up on these paydays, right? We already saw how good it was with Teemo. <laughs> Why not? Why not add more? Why not? Ooh. Ooh, that's good, though. Fury on the Betheldi Elder. I dig it. I dig it. I like where this, this deck is headed. So I'm not going to go to the shop. I'm just going to head up to the healer. I'm going to cut out this other card that we don't want. Where are you at? Lecturing Yordle, you're gone. Uh, on to Poppy. And so... Uh, round end, the foes units get 1-1, one, one, and then round start, you give the foes strongest ally 1-1 one, one for each other ally. Not a big deal, as long as they aren't wider than us, or as long as they don't have overwhelm, uh, we should pretty easily uh, get the Teemo kills here. Alright, no Teemos just yet, take a mulligan. No Teemos, uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's Kaisa. There's the Teemo, right at the end. Appreciate it. Oh my goodness, a disaster. Disaster has struck. F. Okay. Well, I guess we're in for a real one now. Not familiar enough with these decks. Like, it, it, it's not as challenging when you see, like, a... Uh, when you, you see a... Shadow Isles deck, and you're like, ooh, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to play around Vile Feast, but uh, the the Pokey Stick's not entirely on my radar. No Teemos here, so we'll skip. Now we get to do the Payday. I was looking to go for the zero two so that we can survive against this unit, but I mean, we're about to pop off with Kaisa next turn. What's she's gonna be evolved? Okay, we'll take Fearsome. She has quick attack, so. Uh, she was going to be a, a little light on the resources this turn. Do we even play her? Yeah, she's big enough to battle here. Uh-oh. Jeez, Poppy's huge. Uh, okay, so we can give Kaisa Spell Shield Fearsome. That's going to give her two keywords. I think we play the Payday onto her. Skip. See if we can't find uh, a way to boost her attack. Challenger at least helps. Ugh, it's getting scary. We don't have the Teemos, we don't have the stress defenses. Thought we were in a better spot than this. No way to hide. But again, at least he he doesn't have the overwhelm here. And so we we did just put a couple of bad units on the board. Give us a little bit of opportunity to uh to get some blocks in. I don't say this often, but don't be a hero. I've got a new tactic. Play something we can all right, Conchologist, what are you bringing for us? What are you bringing to the party? Well, the stress defense is nice. Let's see if opponent attacks with Poppy and we get to bring it in. Oh, well, well, your stats are so small. <laughs> oh, well, well. I'm sorry, Poppy. That was not very nice. And Timo, where are you at? Wasn't it Challenger on the Voidling? I mean, that is pretty useful here. Let's go for the Challenger. So I'm going to overwrite our smallest unit, put the Payday onto the Voidling. Oh, no, shit. Kaisa already has Challenger. Oh, my gosh. I'm losing it. All right, there's Timo for next turn. Bring in the lucky find. Already have the spell shield. Let's give it the bonus health. Now we're going to copy the fury abilities onto Kaisa. How's this look? Doing seven damage to face? Oh no, he's just not blocking. That makes more sense. give it one of these, I guess. We're still kind of winning here. I'm coming for you. 
And then once we make it back to next round, we should be good. This, this Teemo is going to come in with the, the Scout Elusive for Kaisa, and that should definitely be enough to end it. So not that bad, not that challenging. I was a little worried about this one, but Poppy didn't have bonus starting mana or something, so she didn't uh, didn't really have the the scariest collection of units. And then with a nine ten. Oh, well, sure. Let's just get all those stats off the board. Incoming Poison Dart, incoming Teemo. I think we're ready. Opponent's dropping the dope emotes, so you know that means something. <laughs> that means something. So Poison Dart into Teemo. Get that spell mana back. It's not hugely relevant here anymore, right? We've, we've got this one locked down with this turbocharged Kaisa. But hook something in. Chunk down as many of those stats as we can. Oh, not a tiny shield. Oh, noes. Oh, noes. Did play an elusive. Moderately annoying. But no problems otherwise. Mow everything down. We'll add an Ava Achiever at the end of combat. Hopefully that's enough to, to end the day. Oh, he just didn't even need to use the, the challenger. Oops. Does the occasion rain count towards her furies? Doesn't seem like she's picked up too many fury bonuses, but maybe she did. Alright, that should be game over. Fourteen, right at your nug. See you, Void. All right, so definitely picking up more Teemos. Uh, it's it's tough to say what's better, the tough or the plus one, plus one. If you're getting in combats, you typically want plus one, plus one. If you're going against spells, you typically want tough. I'm just going to go with the tough here. No more pokey stick problems. Into the powers. Uh, when you gain a attack token, get a sapling is fine. It's probably better than these other ones. We don't have any rerolls, so it's not that big of a deal. I guess it does give us some challenger for our Kaisa, to where those others don't really do anything. So that seems fine to me. Onto the uh, here, we got a spells chest, a arena mecha caster. I'll have to look that one up. Or an item chest. I prefer the item chest, but let's see what the mecha caster does. Uh, let's you buy Mecha Yordles and add them to your deck. Not particularly interested in that. So let's head down to the, the item chest. Gangplank can be, like, a little scary. He does have, you know, like, Make It Rains and Parlays and stuff that should be able to attack at our Teemo, but we did just pick up Tough. And so if he has the Powder Keg, he should be able to kill Teemo. If he doesn't have it, we should be safe. So, all right. He has the Dead Nexus re re Recall thing, Come Back Alive thing, and then at round start... He gets a powder keg. If he starts the round with 15 or less health, he gets to draw the dread wave. The saltwater scourge, if you will. Eating those salty orange slices. <laughs> I wonder if we should ever just hang on to Kaisa in our opening hand there, given that we're going to... Uh, only have one Kaisa left. Try to up our chances at drawing Teemos. I don't know. Some nerd will have to tell me the math on that one. That's the way you're supposed to. <laughs> that's the that's the way you're supposed to talk about your your followers and your friends. You just call them nerds, you know. 
Very, very cordial, very nice. Oh, didn't even realize that combo with the scouts and the thing and getting extra saplings on attack. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You're definitely not a nerd, sapling. You know... <laughs> but you're the coolest guy in the whole school. Alright. So what do we got happening here? Bethel the Elder seems good. On board with him coming to party. It is interesting also having this burst way to take down the, the powder kegs. Didn't necessarily need to do it here, but I wanted to get all of our mana back before we played this Teemo. And then we're going to try and just build up really big onto Kaisa. So uh, here, the second Teemo is actually fine to draw. We could put more puff caps in the opposing deck. He's not going to have anywhere near enough mana to cast a uh, to cast a Dreadway. We've already got Spell Shield. Uh, Challenger and Tough we've already been through. Oh, no, we should have... Well, we could have saved this next turn for Teemo, right? But we're going to want to copy these abilities onto Teemo. So maybe we should have just held on to the payday until next turn. But I, I get it in my head. I see it happening, and it's like, oh, man, I, I can't lose out on any of this value. I have to spend all this spell mana before I get it all back with Teemo. <laughs> and so that one's on me. That one's on me. So Timo comes in. Play our three mana Kaisa. We we'll use the second skin to copy Scout Elusive. Uh oh. Doing stuff? Can he kill our Timo here? Oh, he goes for the sapling. Huh. I don't know about that, AI. I don't know about that. You know. I can't I can't see your whole hand. I don't have perfect information here. I don't know your whole strategy, but that one is a, is a little sketchy to me. A little sketchy. Probably don't even want to deal with the block. Well, oh, we don't have Challenger on our Kai'Sa. Okay. So many abilities going on, it gets a little confusing. It's like, well, if we're going to just challenge here, we can get in for more damage with the Elder, but didn't matter. Just blowing them up real good anyways. Oh, god damn it. He heals at the end of this? We could have ordered these a little better. He healed a lot there. I I forget about the the thing. I was I was uh just super autopiloting here. I, I don't think it matters. He's gonna draw Dreadway and can't play it, but a little definitely a little sloppy. Yes, look at these things. These powder kegs having bonuses on them? This Dreadway is going to deal damage? Oh, this is annoying. What the fuck card is this? Be cool if we could see what our option was back here. Oh, Wallop. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, Poison Dart our own unit. That'll counterspell the parlay. I think. Doesn't kill anything, so it shouldn't deal any damage. Then he's going to try and get into combat with his... Uh, we can just go ahead and stun right now. Then we can play Teemo and get all the spell mana back. Alright, not bad, right? Then maybe he'll just die on the card draw here. He's got a 175 puff caps and 25 cards. Definite possibility. Got him. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll try to be a little less sloppy next game. You do need to do a little bit of math when they have the Trendomir ability and uh, try to hit them for exacties and then get the rest of your damage in. That was a little sloppy with our ordering there, but I was like, I, I, I lined up the attack and I wasn't thinking and I saw like, why is he gaining five health? Ah, uh, uh, okay, I got you now. But let's see, I don't really want any of these. Uh, I guess we could pick up the Sumpworks map, just give us more elusives. Another spell to reasonably cast with Teemo. Are we scared of Karma? I don't think so. I think our deck can handle Karma. We got, we don't have a lot in the way of removal spells, but we do have a, a lot of really just high-powered expensive plays to drop in the beginning of the game. Uh, now with these, I think 
I'm okay to keep leveling up the Puff Cap Pup. It just makes such a difference when it's cheaper than the Peddler. And then we already have Tough on Teemo, so uh, Teemo should be able to help uh, uh, hit the Evolve. So Karma, everybody starts at 10. She had the, the Trindamir Nexus, and then everybody starts at 10 Mana Crystals. Not 10 health, slightly different there. Alright, so we got a Teemo. Don't want the map. Otherwise, I think these are okay. Pl plenty of ways to spend mana here. I don't want to be like digging for Ava Achiever. And this is always strong. We have the Sump Fumes, which we can use to, to kill, uh, kill Karma. Oh. Oh, she's got all the stats now. I'm not used to her starting with the, uh, the, the health. Is that new? Hmm. Alright, let's see what... Oh, shit, she's huge. <laughs> I thought we were going to be able to kill that, and I was way off. Way off. Alright. So we'll get that idea out of our head. Did just pick up Kaisa. She's not going to be able to flip, though. Maybe she can flip. Let's see. Let's add Teemo. Oh, shit. He's already attacking and stuff? Oh, shit. Okay. Well, we can take the six. I don't think that's a big deal. Losing it. I'm losing it, team. So we do have the Kaisa flip. I can't copy the spell shield, though. I, I, I worry we're going to go into next turn, and then he's just going to be able to uh, concussive palm and um, take down our attack. But I definitely want to be hitting scout off of this, and so maybe we can just do that thing where we count on our opponent to do something weird and dumb, and then, <laughs> and then they do it. So what's your evolve? Elusive? Okay. You can attack this turn. Opponent gets a sponge, bunch of spells, that's fine. Still looking for that concussive palm to come down. He's doing more stuff though. Rush, don't care. There it is. It's unfortunately on the Kaisa, but um, we can still attack with Teemo this round. And I still want to put these abilities onto Kaisa, even if... Um, Uh, even if she doesn't get to attack here. So, Payday. D ooh, stress defense is probably a requirement, but we're going to be... Oh, no, this is... We'll just, we just won't play the other Payday. Quick attack and tougher, no good. Kaisa already has those. So let's do this then. Let's just pick up this other unit, right? It's uh, it's got a got a good collection of build. Oh man, I should have put the elusive on it. That was a little sloppy. We're about to do that now, anyways. But a little sloppy. We'll get it all sorted out eventually. <laughs> all right. Hopefully, we haven't ruined this here. Timo, attack in. Now we got a pile of elusives here. So let's send in elusive, elusive Teemo. And we have a, a hook. It's gonna hook in the Green Glade Lookout. Uh, he, he gets the one strike off of it so he can have the mana reduction next turn fine, but it's like the, the one we want to be killing is Tail of the Dragon, but if he has a recall for one, then it's kind of like Taking the one off of the board still leaves them with all the options, right? And so we at least took away whatever their options would be from that uh, that smaller unit. Oh, he's so close to lethal here. We don't have ways to draw cards, do we? No. This is such a delightful play. <laughs> the the stress defense into the into the giant fury unit. Ooh, double Will of Ionia. Okay. I think our Kaisa has Spell Shield now. Take the children to safety, now. 
Oh, no, wrong one. I thought that was it. I guess it doesn't matter. I thought we were spiking the... Uh, spiking the Green Glade duo, but took it away. I guess we at least get to kill Karma here. Very sloppy. Getting sloppy here. Lots of lots of things happening. I'm trying to move fast, but I think we're good. Buff Cap's got him. Oh, he's got that thing again. Whew. We'll figure it out eventually, man. One day. One day we'll be smart enough to understand it. <laughs> All right. Supercharged Teemo. Now with the payday. Don't really want any of these. Let's just skip over that. See if we can't get Teemo a nice keyword. Already got quick attack. Challenger is a new one. Second skin onto Teemo. So now we get the scout, the elusive, all those goodies onto our little friend. Now it's like, you, you have the choice here, right? You can hook stuff with Kaisa or you can just deal the damage to face. I'm just going to go for the face damage here, right? We still have 18 damage of elusives on our board. Oh no, the, the Elder lost his elusive. I think I still like this though, just dealing the damage directly to face. We're hitting with so many puff caps, it should be uh, pretty close to lethal. It's like our attack's taking them to one. So one puff cap with about 200 some in deck. Should be a, a, a an easy hit. I think we boomed you, Karma. I've been getting boomed every time with that trend of beer ability, man. Like I, I guess we're glad to be up against it, but gotta I gotta have better awareness that we're not just ending the game. All right, but what you got for us, Karma? Uh, these aren't spectacular. I mean, the Sump Fume summoning a unit's decent. The Merciless Hunter with the, the Last Breath Rally's decent, but the, they're not quite on theme with what we're trying to do. Sump Fumes has been fairly okay here. I don't think we need rallies that bad. It's, just, it's, it's pretty tough for us to, like, navigate getting the good rallies with this thing. So I'm going to pick up the Sump Fumes here that summons champions. Let's just put a champion down on the first turn, which... You know, can't complain. Game start, summon Vanguard Lookouts is good. Let's just build up until we can get our, our Teemos and friends on board and running. Interesting stuff. Game start, drawing, guiding touch, I'm happy to have one copy of. Otherwise, I don't think we need any of this stuff. The, the most savage of Puffcat Peddlers with double savage shield is a thing. Like, I guess we can I mean, we just put the item on him. Get one more copy, it's not that many. And let's leave here. I'm getting... I'm getting crazy with my purchases. We got to get out of here before it's all said and done. And so, down the way, we either have an item chest or an incisive tactician. That is... Let's see. Choose one of your powers and exchange it for a random one of a higher rarity. That's kind of tempting, right? Our powers aren't that great. We can get rid of the Vanguard Lookout. Getting rid of Nature's Revenge for a legendary would be pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm on board with this. Let's, let's head towards the uh, the tactician. So Katarina, is she going to be scary? When the foe plays a champion, grant their other units 2-2. I don't think she's that scary. And let's let's make a reminder. Let's make her remember. He's got <laughs> he's got the Trindamir ability again. All right, no Teemos. Mulligan everything. There he is. All the Teemos now. But these so many units on board. Look how look how aggressive we're being today. Don't have to worry about the blade's edge. We got that tough Teemo now. This is kind of interesting, right? With the the two Teemos in hand, we can. Um, get two flipped hits in this turn. So we don't currently have any spells. Let's see. We can drop Conchologist. See what we find. Nothing spectacular. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. 
Make this giant faded unit. You all remember the days when you could put your zenith blades on your pantheons and stuff? <laughs> He's giant. You giant, friend. So double mushroom cloud. Get the flipped hit in. And we'll get to make a pretty strong normal attack after this. Gonna look to hook the Crimson Disciple into combat, so if he wants to block our big unit, he's gotta block it with Katarina. It goes for it. Wild. I did not expect that. Really surprised he didn't attack last turn. I don't know what he was so scared about with our 1-4s on the board, <laughs> but he was apparently scared of something. And right, everybody, we're remembering. We know that he's on the uh, he's on the ability. He's on the the Trindamir recovery thing, and so <laughs> we gotta we gotta strengthen up our 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 resolve and our units. Do a little bit of mathematics. Make sure that we can uh, that we can survive. All right, slightly awkward. I want to, like, get the Teemo in, and I want to get the champion off the sump fumes, but we run out of space on our board with all these Vanguard lookouts. I mean, I guess it's a... Uh, uh, a first world problem of sorts, <laughs> given our board and what the opponent has, but... I wanted, I wanted to get uh, maximum highlight value here. Okay, so here's like 18. That's about as close as we're going to get. Now we can just send in everybody else. Let's get that dumb dumb out of here. We should be able to call it a day. going to hit us for a point of damage. We only got 300 puff caps in there. 22. One short. <sighs> okay. Okay. I guess we can heal two of it, but <laughs> not quite, not quite the way I was looking for this to go. But that should be a pretty easy win from this point forward. This is a very easy Katarina round. I was expecting more out of that deck. You dead. Alright, good I'm stuff. Doing. So what do we got? More stats for the Elder? He's been kind of like... Our, our real bruiser, right? The the main show is Timo and Kaisa, but this Bethel the Elder has been rocking. We just have so many combos with that. Plus one, plus one when you play a spell thing that's attached to him. All right, on to the Tactician. Oh, no, we don't get to pick the ones I want. I don't want ever onward. I guess we can upgrade the Vanguard Lookout, but I was I was really hoping that we got to, to, to hit up that epic. What did we get? You're not going to tell me? When you play a spell, deal one to the enemy nexus. All right, not spectacular, but kind of on theme. Here, Ava Achiever, you've done your work for the day, uh, but you're too expensive. On to Yasuo. And so, looks like he's got the uh, the nexus heal again. And then when the foe's units attack, you stun the player's weakest unit and the foe draws one. Uh oh, no Timos. Take that hard mulligan, please. Is 
So what do we got? Kaisa on the champion draw. No Teemos here to start, but man, I feel I feel a lot better about this one than I have a lot of the previous ones in terms of our our, our cheap units and their abilities to, uh, to hold down the early game. All right, well, if Teemo's not here, this four keyword, well, I guess it's only a three keyword, but they'll the elder. The sapling provided the, the challenger, but we're going to hit evolve fast. I think I'm on board with this. Just uh, go ahead and summoning out a champion. Not too much we can do about, about Yasuo here anyways, but why not? We'll see what happens. Wasn't as exciting as I wanted, but <laughs> you know, I believe in you, Tristana. You make some, you're gonna make some magic happen here. This will be really sweet if we draw Timo. No. Nope. Okay. Some Nami bringing us back a little bit of the manas. Okay. We just hit evolved, right? With the faded. Looks good. Poor, poor one one Tristana down here. No, this is not the, uh, not the all star unit that I was hoping for this game. <laughs> poor Tristana. But if you're looking for some hot combos uh, to take into constructed, you want to play Timo. With the the plus three spell mana item in conjunction with uh, with Nami, uh, you thought you'd seen a lot in constructed, but wait till you wait till you hit that combo. All right, so let's spend some mana. We'll give the dude uh, elusive. He's faded, so he's going to get some bonuses. Now we're ready to uh, interact with these green glade duos just a little bit if we have to. It's a little unfortunate when you try to attack with Teemo and your opponent has a elusive to block him with. But we are just like super far ahead here now. He's actually going for it, huh? All right. Oh, as soon as I put forth the block, I saw the poison dart come into hand, but it's okay. It's okay. We, we can autopilot the rest of the way through this one and be in pretty tip-top shape. These battles have not been very challenging. We'll have to we'll have to see if we're going to change our tune as we get up into the uh, up into the Aurelian Soul rounds. But I think everyone can agree that we have been face smashing this entire run. Our Teemo combos are too strong, man. People are going to learn about the strategy, just giving. Giving up the the, t the the powers early, immediately retiring for the plus two draw. They'll learn. Word will get out. What do we got? Don't want any of this. I want. I just want spells at this point. Lucky find on Timo. Let's see. Kaisa does not have spell shield at this point. Out here, just doing all kinds of Nami things. That's pretty cool as well, right? Putting those bonuses on all of our units. Why not do another one? Why not? Alright, so it looks like opponent heals at some point in here. That's... I don't know. We're only attacking for... 10? The Acacian Rain really hitting for that much? I mean, I'm glad to see that we are... Oh, he gets a blocker, and that takes it away? Huh. <sighs> okay. Kind of lame, dude. You know, to each their own, but I think I think we can all agree that that's kind of lame. So Timo will get the, the kill. We can now flip into Kaisa. Biggest unit, and Azir. Okay. Okay. 
It's still plus four. I don't get it. Did we mess it up that hard? Or is it just like the entire attack happens? No. Okay. The Acacia Rain did most of the work there. This game's done. We're just <laughs> trying to trying to make it end. Does that thing remove all the puff caps out of his deck? It feels like he should have a lot more than 75. Hmm. Hmm. Are you cheating, opponent? It seems like he might be cheating. <laughs> he might be. All right, we got dudes on board. We'll just uh, do our best to make an open attack and end the game. That was easy mode, Yasuo. Oh, just got him. GG. I was getting all, getting all amped up, getting ready to push those uh, those units into the middle, but didn't even need them. All right, nearing the peak, getting close to the top. Ooh, and our, the, the best one that you can have with Teemo. Game start, draw me if I'm not in your hand. I'm not sure how that ties in with all of our abilities to where we draw champion at the beginning of the game and everything, but knowing that we're starting with Teemo is absolutely delightful. Here, overprepared is great. Uh, zero cost equipment to slam on our Teemo every time. Uh, quite on board with it. Here, we either have an epic shop or a healer. Uh, I think we should be good against Viego. Shuffling a bunch of champions into his deck. I know, like, the way these games have been going, Lulu is is fairly weak. We should be able to run through her. Uh, whereas Viego can be challenging, but he's a six-cost champion, right? We're going to be dropping Teemo on the first turn. It, it's tough to, like, really worry about them when their game doesn't start until turn six. Now, he does have... Uh, he, he's not on the, the Trindamir. He's on the... Um, what you called... Uh, 10 champions into the deck, and I'm still not certain how I feel about the 10 champions in the deck as terms of, um, it's, uh, you know, like really dilutes what you're trying to do. We have spells to play if we drop Teemo? I don't think so. All right, Puff Cat Puppet is. There, you just make a, make a sad noise when it doesn't go exactly how you want. Mm, I guess that's fine. I guess. Alright, Elder in. Teemo down. We're gonna drop the Sump Fumes onto the Soul Shepherd. Gonna kill the unit, give us a champion. Now I'm ready to come out blasting. What up, Miss Fortune? You, you enjoy seeing a scout unit. Get these combos. So good. You're so dead, Diego. <laughs> Why did you even bother to show up today? Now, we did pick up the Gatalist. It does not work with Teemo, right? You can't Gatalist Puff Caps. It's not a circle ability, but it does work with Kaisa. So if we want to uh, Acacia Rain for about a million, we can drop the, the Gatalist on her. I'll see what we can do in terms of that. See if we can't get a really big and sweet uh, attacking turn in. Okay, good job. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. He was like, eh, good job, I guess. I noticed what you did there, and it was nothing. Alright, Kaisa in. Right, let's see what we can do. Where's she at right now? Without even doing anything. All these flashies happening. Oh, she's only hitting for 10? That's not as exciting as uh, as all the viewers are hoping to see. So let's send the poison dart to face. We'll drop the Teemo. Uh, we'll payday Teemo. Try to give him an ability. Drop a little second skin. Maybe a third skin, who knows. Let's see where we're at. Some fumes, sure. What you got in here? Overwhelming Teemo. 
feel like that's what we need. We might just end up killing him with our Jinx ability here. <laughs> we got a second skin. We got a Guiding Touch to take him down to one. Cursed Keeper, the Difference Maker. All right. I was hoping to have a bigger number on there, but it is what it is, as they say. Cool. All right, all right. Onward and upward, right to the peak. Let's see how devastating it could be. <laughs> gotta, gotta deal with 700 power of units on turn four. Let's see if we're ready for it. Okay, so Viego gives us more sump fumes. That sounds good to me. Draw a champion off of that's kind of cool as well. Uh, on to the shop. The power. We can't reroll anything, but we'll still take it. When you play a spell, deal one. So we have two of those spell burn things. Kind of cool. Uh, as far as these abilities go, not really interested in any of these. I guess we can game start a sump fumes. Uh, but otherwise, not that impressive. And so I don't want a big stack of them, just the one item. Oh, shit, we got to fight Darius first. And Misfortune. And, oh, man, so many rounds. All right, round start, the foe gets the mana gem. Round end, the foe deals one to the player's nexus for each unit the foe has. I thought we were just like right on top. Bing, bang, boom. All done. All right, no Teemos here. All the sump fumes can go away. We'll draw one of those anyways. It seemed like the draw champion thing, like level 20 Teemo ability was happening before the Teemo item that draws. So, right, Kaisa comes in. Do they just work together? Or does he just turn up at the very end? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> we're just we're just overdrawing on the first turn. Get ready for it, Darius. Like you gotta take a couple points of damage, I guess. Moon boy turning up says, "Let me, let me get some of those items, please." So what do we got? Sapling on board. Got this sweet combo with the sump fumes and the Teemo. All sounds good. You're not particularly intimidating, Darius. I mean, you can you can do a non-zero amount of damage here, but our spells are just so good. Why'd we get a Blade's Edge? Whatever that came from. Oh, we made a Katarina. Got it. I see. Alright, so we're gonna be kinda far away from lethal, but... Get him down to 10. We, we might have to worry about taking a Darius hit, but we can kind of like immediately start off our turn by hitting a nightfall with the, with the moon boy. Ooh. Oh, we don't have we already have a moon weapon though. I was going to say if we can get a get a double stun, we could at least stun Darius for the round. But he's not that scary as it is. The fuck was that? Where'd our team go? Just kill all of our dudes? Hmm. It seems like you're not you're not being particularly nice to us today, Darius. Where is Can we get the right ability off of this? Either Calibrum or Severum, no. So what are we gonna do? We'd we'll probably just put a puff cap pup in front of Darius this round. Okay. Not super ideal, but if we don't like lose our Aphelios this turn, we can try and just gain a bunch of health next round. Right, we can chain life steal into. Um, does this thing deal damage to us? But we can chain life steal into a unit and then copy it onto Kaisa, assuming we don't just. Uh, assuming that we don't just deal too much damage before that all goes down. 
So I thought we were losing units last turn. I wanted to check and make sure our Kaisa wasn't just going to die after this, but you know, I think this is okay. We're going to be casting a bunch of spells. We're going to lose out on a lot of this potential for damage. But let's see what we can do. Ugh. Yeah, we're just... Let's see. We play Teemo. And then we play Crescendum. Crescendum will give us a, a lifesteal. Ugh. Alright, it's all been cancelled. Fine. <laughs> our, our Jinx ability is uh, actively playing against us. Easy enough battle, though. Not excited about taking all that chip damage, but kind of is what it is. Here, don't really want any of these. Like, the Origami Slicer shouldn't be necessary. We should just be winning the game anyways. I don't want to make Conchala just more expensive, and so it's either the Slicer or the Clump, and the Clump is just dead at this point. So we'll take the Slicer. On to Misfortune, so she has the Mana Gem thing, and then when the foe's units attack, they deal one to the player's battling units and one to the Nexus, so... Love taps on attack. Maybe we'll set it up to where they can't attack. How would that be? Pretty cool if you ask me. This fortune, you're huge. Uh-oh. Oh, man, are we going to have to lose our Teemo here? Uh, I was trying to set this up to where we got to, to block with the, the guy, and then uh, we could maybe just cast a... God, are we going to have to take 10 here? This, this game has been going so well. Oh, my God. I'm not happy about this. All right. Well, we'll prevent the damage, but... See how where we how well we fare without our our big Teemo out here. Counting on you, Azir. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be putting draconic bands on our on our sapling, aren't we? Is that how we is how we take down misfortune? It's got another copy in hand though. There's no reason to get too crazy with it. Ah, uh, this is brutal. That was so much damage. We only have three mana to work with here. That just seems too sketchy. Alright, let's see if he does something weird in the face of these uh, sand soldiers. That was... That was painful. Painful loss of Teemo. Wait... Just done it the other way. I'm curious how that would have gone. If we played Teemo first and he couldn't parlay because he was tough, and then we got to follow up with the other unit. I wonder how that would have gone. But he's, she's pretty much out of cards at this point, and so we have a, a little bit of space for opportunity now. Sump Fumes is strong, but doesn't get very much on the board. Let's go with the Conchologist. Um, Say so maybe we can find an interactive card here. We didn't, but something just to throw down on the board. Oh, that's gross. Alright, Sumpworks map, do your thing. Give me a blocker. Azir, you can you can block something, right? Pick seven. God, we're going to go into this Aurelian Soul round with like four health. This is going to be brutal. We, we had like such an easy streak there in the middle, and now we're we're, we're really facing down trouble uh, without the Teemo giving us the mana. Uh, I don't know about you, fam, but I'm a little scared about this. Alright, so Kaisa in. The Elder. In. 
It's going to give us the flip. Then I'm going to copy the uh, the sapling with the second skin so that we get the uh, the challenger onto Kaisa. Now we can quick attack challenge into misfortune. And then we'll just kind of see what opponent does in terms of blocking. Maybe they'll block with a little bit of something. I don't know. But gotta we got to have some hopes and dreams go right here. Hopefully they'll put the... Oh, we are just going to be booming into some of these one health things with the, the Acacian Rain. Is there a world where we ever get to kill all of his units and then <laughs> he, he doesn't get to attack and get the love taps? That would be kind of cool. Oh, no, pull it back, pull it back. It's like I didn't want him to attack. I didn't realize the he was coming down with the giant's belt. It's okay, but a little sloppy. So we're definitely winning this game. It's just going to be a matter of how much damage we take, right? If he gets to attack, we're going to take a point. If we pick up a lifesteal unit, then we can maybe do something with that. But I'm not one to just sit around and draw my whole deck until a lifesteal unit turns up. We'll play the Guiding Touch, though. That should probably be about enough stuff. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just send the squad in at this point. I think we're good. It says Neg 35. We're going to deal some occasion rain damage. We have the overwhelms. Yeah, you know, this is the uh, this is the kind of attention paying you need at the end of the run. <laughs> All right, though. On to Aurelian Soul with very minimal health. That was a kind of brutal set of rounds that... I don't expect to lose to any of the champions at that point. I just wasn't really hoping to take 20 damage or whatever we took there. All right, more puff cap pups, sure. Pass out those keywords everywhere. On to the big boy, or the big girl. I think Aurelian Soul's a lady. But the foe gets the mana gems, and then at round end, the foe summons a random level 2 champion with a cost equal to their max mana. So very fast with the big champions, and those champions get the double up abilities from the Targon's Peak. Gotta come out here fast. So, definitely don't want our auto draw cards. I think we can hang on to the Elder and the Conchologist, though. They seem fine. We picked up a Teemo. It's kind of kind of good, kind of bad. I mean, we're guaranteed to get one, but uh, better than better than having none. How scary is this dragon thing? Do we have to actually come down and kill it? You know, we have a sun fumes to remove it, but... I'm not sure how much I care about these fast Aurelian souls. Alright, then I'm not gonna let him... Oh man, he boomed me. I was like, I'm not gonna let him level up the sentinel, but... Now that he's played the dragon thing, that's kind of annoying. I'm, I'm not... Oh my gosh, and we just wasted a scout attack? F. F. Oh boy. We're, we're, <laughs> we're professionals, look out. What did he hit? Anivia? And then Aurelian Soul incoming. Alright, Conchologist it is. Gonna give us some decent blocks here. These spells aren't great, but a rise should let us come in and just throw down a bunch of blockers next turn if we need to. So we take five? Sure. Ooh, man, the deciding factor in this one being uh, the Teemo the that didn't get that strike in, and now we're just so limited in, uh, in the amount of damage we can deal next turn. Up a heal. 
I mean, I think I'm okay to mushroom cloud. It's a it's a little scary. Um, giving up on our Teemo, but we we really need to get these puff caps rolling through here. Oh, we're gonna get like supernova and stuff now. <laughs> I'm not I'm not excited about this spot that we're in. If we can survive the next attack, though, we might be okay. Oh, Jesus. Are you serious? You landed Trindamir in there? Uh, okay. Well. We have to get Kaisa in front of Trindamir. So, the, the way I think we can do this is we'll drop Kaisa. She's going to level up. We can follow up with Teemo. But then we, we can't play any more cards after that, right? We need this three mana now so that we can uh, summon with our, uh, what you call it, Azira Rises. Oh, boy. At least he doesn't get like a million cards off of that. Fuck. Well, we have to copy the, the Teemo still. So, so now we have a, a, a potential elusive blocker for the Great Beyond. How bad could this be? Meteor Shower. I mean, it sucks that we've lost our Teemo at this point, but this isn't the end of the world. We can actually attack with Kaisa here. No. Well. <laughs> well. All right, let's try this final battle. Let's see if we can get it off the revive. Oh, that was brutal. So close. I, I think we can't we can't cycle away our Teemo. It's too dangerous to do that. Like, whenever we have these turns where we don't have that big, big addition of spell mana, then we're just we're just hurting. And so, like once I saw that meteor shower come down, it's like, well, maybe we can win, but we really need that mana. Whew. Okay. Hang on to some fumes. Hang on to the elder. All right, so far so good. Kaisa, beautiful. Draw some cards. Teemo at the very end. See if we can do this without messing up our attacks and stuff. Hi, right, Teemo, you're on board. Envelus Vox. Not what I was expecting, but I think I'm pretty on board with that. Can't quite pop the spell shield, though. Like, if we sump fumes, we don't get the unit, right? Oh, we do still get the champion. Oh, okay. Learn something new every day. Maybe it's a good one. Misfortune? Serviceable. All right, so now we're A, holding on to our Teemo, and B, also making a scout attack. Got it. I've, uh, I, I've righted my wrongs. I've learned my lesson. Feeling better about it now. Let's get this chunk damage in, right? we got to end this thing fast. The Envelous Vox is not very scary. Uh, and so if we need to just, like, throw a dude in front of it, that's okay. Or throw a Misfortune in front of it, that's okay. It's not like it has Overwhelm. Nivia again. All right, so who's our play? The elders are okay. I think we can try with these. I'd like to get like a big elusive elder next turn if we can. I, I think we're probably a little, still a little short on lethal, but I, I like the idea of that. I think we can safely add Timo. Right, he has tough, and so the the AOE from Manivia is not going to be enough to take him down. Screeching Dragon is enough, but uh, he should still be nice and protected out here. Does this deal five? Deals four. Do we really not add cards to our hand this turn? 
You've added two cards to your hand? We drew like a million cards this turn. Um, well, it looks like you're about to fall, Timo. Let's see what we can do. It's like, maybe I'll do something weird. You never, you never know with these opponents. So Misfortune gets a block. Block the dumb thing down here. Can Sump Fumes the dragon. Our champion's going to take damage off of the Glacial Storm, but it should probably survive. Pick up Callista. Okay. So let's see what we can do. This is our, our big turn for that uh, that Teemo scout attack with Kaisa. She's definitely going to be flipped here. We're unable to handle Trendemir, so this is just going to have to work. But I think the real bonus here is he doesn't have the, the flipped Aurelian soul just yet doing a bunch of crazy stuff. So what's our best shot here? Is that is that going to be putting Elusive onto the Betheldi Elder? Or is it going to be getting the bonus puff caps from Teemo? I think we want to just level up the Elder here. And so we're going to second skin onto Teemo. So we get the, the scout attacks with... Well, maybe we should just Mushroom Cloud. Well, the Poison Dart... It's only going to be a handful less puff caps. We're only going to get into about a hundred or so puff caps, anyways. All right. Poison dart and some works map on our friend. Scout attack. See what that does. Pop those spell shields. That could be useful next turn if we need to, if we find a stress defense. So here comes our elusive squad. Is this just going to be enough? He's only at 13. I think that's just enough, Fame Jam. Get rid of the dragon. It's at 13. We got 19, 21 of elusives coming in. I think we did it. I think we did it. So, good stuff. Good stuff. It was, a, it was a scary one, but that's what you run into every time against Aurelian Soul. You're just in this giant damage race, and so it was nice that we were able to, to pull off that combo. But, pretty pretty sweet deck we had with the, the scouting elusive Teemo loading up onto Kaisa. Uh, that's not something I'd have ever uh, imagined or really pulled off before, but it was great the synergies we had here. And so I think this was a nice... Uh, a nice culmination of our Teemo battles. We touched on all the strategies, the importance of uh, stacking your Teemos, the restart at the beginning to uh, to get the bonus card draw, and then just doing everything in your power to draw Teemo uh, and have him at every opportunity. You could see in those games what happens when you don't have Teemo and what you do. Uh, when he's gone, it's just immediately very, very scary. We had a battle in there where it was just like opponent was weak, but... Like, up against Aurelian Soul, we are just never winning without Teemo. And so you just absolutely have to have him. Uh, and I think that we really uh, showcase the importance of this big build-around strategy in terms of Teemo and the Gale Force and the, and the Lost Chapters and using all of these card draw strategies, cutting out the expensive stuff so we increase our chances of drawing Teemo. Uh, I think we really hit it all and hit it, hit it in a, a good way. And so I had fun with that, man. A nice playthrough with Teemo. I hope you enjoyed it, too. Because that is going to do it for us today. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Hope you maybe learned a thing or two along the way and had a good time watching. Uh, this is Bust and we thank you for being here.